RX 9080 and a RX 9090. Is it true? Well, I've done some research and I've heard so much on the live stream last week. I just had to research it myself and share all the information with you guys that I found. Now, just to let you know, all this is just based on rumors and from many different sources. It's not only rumored on the western front of the world, but also rumored on the eastern front. I'll tell you exactly what I found out. For the most part, for the RX 9080 and the RX 9090, which are supposed to be two different video cards that will both feature for the high-end market, for those who are enthusiasts, for those who want to use the GPU for AI, or wants to use it for high-end 4K gaming, or maybe even up to 8K. These cards are going to be quite powerful and have plenty of VRAM. Now, for the most part, for the RX 9090, it's supposed to have up to 32 gigabytes of VRAM. One front says it is G6, another one says it's G7, running on two different memory bus from what they are rumored. The first one you may have heard, which I was notified by during the live stream, and also was said in the rumor that it will be up to G7 and possibly running on a 256-bit bus. Some websites also claim it could actually be up to G7 with up to a 512-bit bus, obviously for the RX 9090 side. And for the 9080 side, they said between a 256-bit bus all the way up to a 384 bit bus going to be good i gotta say for the most part from what frank azar not implying exactly which type of card it is more than likely this card will be rdna4 it just has to be or maybe rdna4 and a half even which could be a high possibility won't really be a brand new die that's coming to the card but instead it's just going to be more beefier and bulkier card meant for the high-end market and it isn't just going to be a budget-friendly rtx 4090 or a budget-friendly rtx 5090 it's even expected to pour in better in some tasks such as restoration when it comes to the rx 9080 and the rx 9090 it's all pointing to that not only has it been said on the western front but also i mentioned that billy Billy.com would also mention some inklings of what's going on with this RX 9080 and the RX 9090. The RX 9090 could have as much as 8,192 stream processes. That is a ton. That is going to be a beast for ray tracing. Same with the RX 9080, where it scaled a bit down to 7,168 eight stream processes on it. This would actually double over a RX 9070 XT. Again, going back to the memory side, it's going to be a big argument between the two, between whether it's gonna be G6 or G7, but again, it's hard to say. AMD may stay true to G6. I could see that possibly happening. G7 would be a nice addition, but if they do choose to go G7, I would expect a later date for this card, which I'll, which I'll get into a moment and explain exactly what I mean by that. If it is going to be G6, I could see it going up to say like a 384 bit memory bus. It's going to be around that range. It could be a G7 where it's running at 256 bit bus. The clock speeds could be between 3.7 gigahertz to 4 gigahertz, which is insane. What is more interesting is how much wattage would really push through this card. And you're looking for a estimated about 450 watts. But the real question is, what type of port would they really use? Would they use PCI Express or would they end up going to 12 volt high power port? Seems to be the likely uh, counterpart that's going to be for this brand new GPU that is going to be released. Will they have harnesses? Yeah, definitely more than likely, but really think about the 12 volt high power port side because the funny thing is with the AMD cards, you haven't really heard any issues with their cards burning up. Just like the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 9070 XT, you haven't really heard any 12 volt high power ports burning up. Again, not as much power is really going through these cards such as a RTX 5090, but it just gives you a good indication that there is too much power flow going through these 12 volt high power ports. And more than likely, if they do decide to go with that route, I wouldn't be surprised if they would be the first one to adapt to 
ports for a 12 volt high power port in order to power up this card. But then again, it could be perfectly fine. 4090 was at 450 watts. It seemed that the issue was more on a smaller scale compared to a larger scale, such as the RTX 5090. But getting back to the point, about the RX 9080 and RX 9090. These rumors seem to really match up when it comes to Billy Billy, Guru 3D, notebookcheck.net. On the Chip Hell forums, which is another great website where you can get a lot of great information similar to Billy Billy, the RX 9090 XC was tipped to carry up to 32 gigabytes of a G6 on a 384 bit bus which is relatively about 960 gigabytes per second. This aligns with the core counts, such as configuration with analog to AMD's previous gen strategy, but scaled up, it's worth noting that 32 gigabytes of G6 or G7 is going to be far above than what can be really expected out of this beast. The real question is, when is this card going to be released? When is it, how much is it going to exactly be? Well, let's start off with when it's more than likely going to be released. Because this card is in deep, deep curation still, there's not really true solid information out there to say that this card actually does exist or not. For the most part, this is all rumored. And if this card does release, you can expect them more of late 2025 to 2026. Personally, to me, I think we would see it around 2026. AMD would announce it more than likely around the time as CS 2026. I can see them mentioning the RX 9080 and the RX 9090 or a 9090 XT if they still decide to go with the XT line. For the pricing side, it's again, it's not a value card. You can't expect this card to say be $1,200 even. I wouldn't be surprised if the RX 9080 and the RX 9090 are around the figures of $1,499, similar to what the RTX 4090 was, I wouldn't be surprised for the RX 9090 to be priced relatively close to which would be $1,799. So these would be good estimates on how much these cards could really be valued at the performance should be well worth it if AMD decides to go with these cards, especially on how well these drivers are going to be. At least they actually work. Hopefully Nvidia does get it together and get us working drivers because we're already in June. It's already been five months. They can't get these RTX 50 series drivers quite right. Bam bam, guys, let me know what you guys think about the RX 9080 and the RX 9090. Would you personally go get a AMD card if you know that there is going to be an enthusiast card that will be releasing, especially with how great AMD has been doing this year. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and join our Discord. Thanks again so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo, signing out.